Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the first round game in Group L between Fu Folle and Dragu, a lizard man mirror. That, probably the most exciting game in Blood Bowl, so very happy to be bringing this to you. Super exciting. And uh, the, let's give a bit of background on the two coaches. We've got Fu Folle is French. He qualified through the MOL Open 2024. And Dragu is Belgian, and he qualified through the APM Road to the World Championship. Uh, also, Dragu won the toss, chose to kick. I mean, I've not, I'm not experienced in lizard man mirrors, thank God. Um, but interestingly, he chose to kick. Also, he has a guard player instead of six block. I prefer six block. Um, Fufole has six block. They've both gone with the two re-rolls plus a chameleon skink build. I do slightly prefer Glorious. that for this no, format because you could I go to overtime. And I will defend. I some, will defend. There are some overtimes. A who's who of who's that? There you go. Thank you very much, Copac. Staying fantastic. That some games will go to overtime and just drawing some games will be enough as well. Whereas in a normal NAF Swiss style, you have to get all wins to win the tournament. So in that format, I, I value the rerolls more because that will let you try more adventurous plays to, to you know, get the win in the full 16 turns. Whereas in this, a draw is often going to be good enough. Like, for example, a win in two draws might get you out of group stage and then a win and a draw in every two-legged encounter will win you the championship. So you can afford a bunch of draws and still win the tournament. So with that in mind, I do... I mean, this is great, great info for lizard men. This is the best I can do for a lizard man mirror here is just talk about things because the actual game is going to be punching things and punching things and punching things. <laughs> and if somebody gets lucky, they'll win. Um, there is a little bit of subtlety with the protecting, you know, like protecting the ball. You can eye cage a lot because they can always get to you, right? Because they've got stunty and stuff. So this one side can send all of the skinks around to fight the other. Um, so things can happen. I think Shamba, I think I played Shambata in the NAF World Cup qualifier and uh, I didn't think about it at all before the game started and then as soon as the game started I was like oh uh, eye caging is pretty good here isn't it and then I eye caged throughout the whole game and I was like oh, pretty good. And so instant Kaz there, instant Apple and that's a great start for Fu Folle and why you should probably just choose to receive. Nearly every team I would choose to receive nearly every time. You can be my wingman anytime. Oh wow. Bullshit. Massive raid. Massive raid. Thank you very much, Andy Dabo. Um you <laughs> you join us with a <laughs> with a scintillating lizard man mirror. I mean what could be more exciting than that? We all love we all love dancing dinos. Um, didn't didn't look at your game live. We did uh, K Fog versus Le Peg live, and then a replay of Tree's game. Uh, we'll get round to the replay of Andy's game tomorrow, I believe. So I thought, because I thought, you know, there's, if people wanted to watch it live, they would have watched it live. So you know, let's let's not have. You know, and I thought there was a chance of a raid, in which case subjecting your viewers to watching the same game again <laughs> would be pretty horrendous. <laughs> After <laughs> watching the whole thing already. So yeah, we've gone for this Lizard Man match. Um, big foul there. That's, that's okay, isn't it? Actually, just try and take out those crocs. Go for the high roll. You've got a 12th player. Why not? I don't hate that play at all. Um, I mean... It's true, it's true. Uh, I, the thing was, you know, if I didn't get a raid, then, uh, you know, uh, at least I'm subjecting less people to this match. So, <laughs> what can I say? Lizard Man matches. Honestly, it's not bad. When it's a replay, it's okay. W when it's live, it's grim. It's grim live. I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's grim live. As a replay, it's fine, right? The replays are really fast. Ooh! That was, that was, would have been cool, right? If he'd rolled a full power, he could have pushed him and got an extra block. But um, maybe he couldn't have actually, because he probably had to, probably had to 
yeah, screen the skinks here. Screen the little skink cage. Yeah, it's it's fine as a replay. I'm completely fine with this as a replay. It's, it, it, but it was depressing, you know, like watching Blitz Pit and stuff. And there was a lizard man in the ray. It was always, it was always horrendous. <laughs> but as a replay, it's completely fine. These three Saurus are very stranded, aren't they? Three Saurus in a row, nowhere near. But I mean, they're not impeded in any way, so they can they can come back if they want, or. Alternatively, the skinks could run over here and these could shuffle back. Gets his crocs up. Ooh, could this guy have run all the way around? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it would have been a rush. That could have been interesting, right? To push him into there and into follow up hits, but um, not with a rush. It is five block one guard versus six block, yep. Yeah, I've I've been really enjoying the World Championship as well, to be honest. Gets a POW, which clears the guard. And another Kaz. Four. Yeah, Rainer, yeah, if you're gonna use a guard, like if you want the guard for like the then you want it for the high strength matchups, so then you want it on the crocs, right? Because then it's on strength five. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I would just go six block. I would always go six block anyway. I think it's, as much as Spartacus used his, used his uh, team very effectively, I would never, ever consider anything other than six block. But yeah, I mean, it makes sense if, you know, if you've got a strength five player, put it on the strength five. You know. Yeah, it turns out receiving, banging out Saurus, pretty good, isn't it? Banged out two Saurus and a Skink. Oh, the Apple working is... Uh... Yeah, it's a good point, Rainer. Yeah, yeah, a guard just for that matchup. The problem is then you've got a weak Saurus that gets Blitz continuously, so... I don't know. I didn't like that Blitz. I feel like I would have, I would have come back to the middle. It is turn four. I don't, I don't like slipping further away from these four guys. Right, I would have wanted to reconnect with these four more. So yeah, I, I, I definitely preferred coming back to the middle here, and then maybe trying to push down this side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, it's a good point. But I don't like kicking. <laughs> so I would always choose to receive. And yes, the Crocs has gotten on the ball. That's another reason, subconsciously, why I liked standing behind these four is that, you know, you can have a little cage behind a front line. You can't get instantly based by a Crocs, which isn't easy to uh, deal with. But he does have a big Saurus advantage, so maybe it is dealable with very easily, actually. <laughs> kind of needs the power here. No, he doesn't need the power at all. Desires the power. He really desires the power there. Would have made it a lot easier. And then he just smashes him with block. And now, on turn five, he goes back behind this line. So I would have gone back there the turn before. But, um, yeah, that's fair, Raina, that's fair. Oh my god, a stun. I think I would have wanted him further through, right? He could have, he could have gone all the way through. And maybe could have had him stood here. I think I like that more. I mean, this is just be yeah. I know what you're saying because if you can defend the LOS and then like you're not on the back foot for the whole drive, like Dragu has been absolutely on the back foot for the entirety of this drive for the turn one that where he like seeded the uh, 
momentum by choosing to kick and he's just been on the back foot absolutely continuously never had any real chance of stopping the drive or doing anything other than getting repeatedly smashed <laughs> in the face um, so yeah this game especially gives a really strong uh... oh man so like this gets more players forward but I really again I would have really liked the follow up hit you know Blitz from the angle, get the follow-up hit. Can he clear this, the crocs here? Only just. Does a rush. Yeah, probably had to do a rush. There's another one. Puts his own crocs on a skin cast. Horrendous, isn't it, for Dragu here? Eight players. No real hope of stopping the drive. The problem is as well, like, if it depends what you struggle with, right? The, the, the guard thing, it does depend what you struggle with and stuff. And how you play them, what you think you're going to use things against. I think it's pretty subjective. I don't think, you know, block is just better. Because, you know, people like, there's different matchups, right? And people might struggle with different matchups and stuff. So... I want to turn seven. The thing is, though, the thing is, Rainer, it's not that good. They're not that good. Because often, setting up to 2D the LOS screws you anyway, right? And then before you know it, you roll them both down, and now they're getting hits back on you because you tried to tackle their LOS in the first place. So an unblockable one means that, you know, you get into less trouble against them sometimes. Just gonna three dice here. And make a, another couple of two Ds. I mean, could, could he have three D'd here as well? Maybe, right? Five assists. Could have three D'd there, I think. And still like 2D both of them. Maybe he couldn't have 2D both of these. Maybe he should have activated the clocks first to see if he could get this assist. And if he couldn't get this assist, then maybe he could have 3D'd there. I don't know. Anyway. Gets the touchdown. And there is a one turn chance, isn't there? Um with with Stunty. And movement eight. The one turn chance is. Uh, it's not great because of agility three plus, but it's on the table. I, yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, Raina. What I'm saying is. Just a normal lizard man LOS, people have to commit heavily to get two dice blocks against it. Oh, a timeout! Which can cost you, right? If you bond in nine these blocks, then they punch you back. So now, if you've completely denied them doing it, now they just don't engage with your LOS at all. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not as good, like, right? their LOS is so good at, like, their LOS is so hard to hit anyway. But this, uh, this, uh, oh, wasn't that good. <laughs> I wonder how much better he could have played this, honestly. Right, let's, let's go back. There was a timeout. 
Maybe reroll. And don't, but definitely don't cut the corner, right? You definitely just don't cut the corner with this first one. At least get something into range. The problem is like the second one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I really want to rush one of them. <laughs> Lizards are an excellent blood ball team, yeah, yeah. So many t so many times against lizards, you know, like with say dwarves. I know dwarves are a bad one. But you know, like like let's say humans, right? You put your ogre on the LOS, you've got you've got all your guard blitzers are on the LOS, and then you roll a one in nine, and then your ogre boneheads, <laughs> and then all of a sudden the lizards just smash you all of your LOS down on their first turn. And you're like, oh my god, I've just lost the drive on turn one. Whereas at least if you just didn't try to hit any of them, okay, you, you know, you're still on the back foot. But at least you've got more play standers, you know, more players standing up. Uh, I think Lizards are a ridiculous team, a, a completely ridiculous team. E even against the the team that you know allegedly hard counters them, they can still they can still cause them a lot of problems. Wow, that was a rowdy foul, but he had twelve players, so it was absolutely the correct play. Especially with, um, you know, being down two swords already. Well, I say it was absolutely co the correct play. Um, maybe it isn't, because now that KO might stay out. One dice by a skink, incredible. And another, and another skink one dice. Another pal. <laughs> right, KO's huge. Okay, so that's good KO's for the game. Um, Dragoos, Saurus comes back. And Fufol is, Skink stays out. So it is 10 versus, 10 versus 11. But... Um, Dragoo is down a Saurus. So it's not that much of an advantage he's got. Might even be disadvantaged because a Saurus is really, really, really good. Yeah, I quite like, I do quite like the Chameleon skin because as much as like, I wouldn't have it in progression or I, I wouldn't skill it in progression. So I guess you could like random for leader, couldn't you? Mm. You know, giving the free chance, particularly at low TV, give uh, the free chance to catch the ball is all right, isn't it? It makes your offense a bit easier, but minus movement is so horrible. Like it's actually so terrible. <laughs> but in this kind of format, where it's not costing you development in in any way, shape, or form, and just having a free chance to catch the ball is is pretty good in, in like critical. Critical games. Uses the reroll there. So half his reroll's gone on turn one. To get the ball up. Not sure about that. I'll start with one reroll bucket. Thank you very much. Well, Crocs fails. No reroll there, of course. Going to save his two rerolls and save his apple as well. So, pretty solid advantage for Foo Follow despite that instant one in nine. Wonder if he should have just hit the Crocs with block. Maybe. Oh, well, there we go. There's a dub skull. Can't reroll it. <laughs> and now. Because he because he rerolled the the pickup right I I didn't think rerolling the pickup was that important to be honest. Surely, Fu Folly is going to try to apply some pressure here. He's just going to punch things and push them and not get any pressure. Sad. You 
uses the gun. Gets a stun. Use the guard again. Like it's not terrible, is it? The, like it's not terrible, the guard, but I don't know. It also just gives gives you a weak link that, that will be targeted as much as possible. Blocks really good. And if you put it on the crocs, then like, you know, it makes the bonehead that much worse. Makes you more hesitant to use your crocs, which means you get less value out of mighty blow. Oh, he's just part of the defense. Okay, now he's got another player there. <laughs> but now he's given him a 3D blitz on the chameleon skink, which is instantly taken. Full pow. Nothing. It's so frustrating when they don't break, you know. Your opponent lets you hit their skinks and then you, they don't die. Tragic. Stays out of the danger zone, of course. A so one dice block could power him on the sideline and Paul could go in the crowd if he was in this column. So he's staying three in with an eye cage to protect against skink shenanigans. So yep, I like this from Dragu. It's funny because Fu Fale really delayed and delayed and delayed, didn't show any interest in getting forward. And uh, Dragu has gone straight forward here. Does expose the skinks. But maybe he thinks he has to, you know, like down the Saurus. Can't get the crocs onto the ball. The one D there. Maybe that was a misread of the board state. That doesn't feel like a one D. It does a whole lot. This one D definitely do because he hasn't got block. Lots of one Ds. That power is huge. Gives him a two D on the crocs, which frees two Saurus as well. Unbelievably good block here. He's going to be big next turn. Two Saurus on the prowl. But then I guess uh, Dragoo's got a block here to free up a Saurus and the Camo Skink. Oh, he doesn't do it though. I, I would have blocked with the other ones that a, a push would have freed them both up. Like, you can still dodge with a Chameleon Skink, but... No, it's because he planned this Blitz, which... Uh, doesn't give him the hit on the crocs, right? He's got to block the chameleon skink first. A blockless block. Full power on a 1D. <laughs> Outrageous. And only pushes the crocs. I don't hate that. I don't hate this actually down here because it makes it harder for these guys to get around. Whereas if you like kind of try to push forward, they could have come back. So, this is a pretty good spot to stay away from those two free sores. Oh, dub skulls out of rerolls. <laughs> Baited him by getting his skink killed. I thought he would have dodged off, but didn't. Baited him into killing his skink. But out of rerolls. It's going to be a little bit scary now. And he's got an instant blitz on the ball. What? <laughs> what? Oh dear. Well, Drago got away with that a little bit, didn't he? Flip me. It went so quick that I didn't even see how that happened and obviously everything looks pretty similar. <laughs> the, what I don't like about the lizards, I think the lizards are great models, but the fact that they're always like a blue base, you know, it's hard to make really unique looking lizards, right? Like they're blue on blue or blue on red, so it's 
Makes it a pretty tricky to see who's who here. <laughs> Just scores for the 2D. I would have really wanted this to be 3D, but I guess he can always just try for the surf. Yes, the fact that red schemes are blue, yeah, it's... I would definitely like more customization so that you can have, you know, like the, the colours customization have been different. This was, uh... This feels like he should have done better, right? I feel like... This should have been a better turn for Fu Folle. Like maybe he's, this guy should have blitzed and then come round to make it a three D with the uh, Saurus, for, for example. Then he would have had a, he would have had him jammed against the sideline more. Would have had to do two dodges instead of one, and would have had an extra dice to knock him over. Still don't know what Drago is going to do really, apart from just. Run over here. Oh. <laughs> Fail, and uh, there we go. So we've got two scoring threats. Okay, let, let me pause here. Let me pause and crack this. So, the play is <sighs> yeah you can you can right you've got how many players have you got two that's a dodge isn't it no they're both his they're both his so so this guy could go in here He's already failed to send up his crocs. What I'd want to do is block this guy, chain one of your Saurus here so you can block him and like power him, and then use other people to try and block him. It's not easy though, is it, to hit this skink? It's really not easy to hit this skink. In fact, I don't think you can hit this skink. So therefore, you have to blitz the crocs off the ball, and then fill. So, so this this guy comes here. So this is why he's not doing this. So he has to put in the the camo skink here, and then he blitzes in here actually, and then he blitzes him to clear the crocs. Sorry. So this yeah, he puts both of these in here, blitzes him. And then the camo skin gets the ball. So unfortunately he can't do this block to chain in to hit that as well. Because he just hasn't got the free players. That's a shame. Wait, that's his crocs. Errata, errata, that's his crocs. Wait, which players are which? <laughs> I'm completely bamboozled. This looks like a red crocs. Why? Oh, this Crocs is stupid. Is this Crocs stupid? Right, this is the so the blue Crocs is stupid. Oh my god, right. So in that case... <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Rocker Crocker. So in that case, this is the play. This skink goes in here. This Saurus blitzes the skink. This skink goes in here, this guy blocks him into there, so you, now you get to knock down both skinks and you get to pick up the ball. That's what he should have done, I think. But instead, he bases the ball. Blitz is a Saurus. Tags the skink. Fails the pick up. Is there a chance for a touchdown here? Yes, a 3D blitz. 
gets the knockdown. And then what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rush, hand off. Three. <laughs> it's a few dice, but he gets the hand off. And he's done it. Flip me. Flip me. Wow. Honestly, I thought Fu Fale played pretty well that whole game. And then that last turn, they were like, there were two, there were two skinks, and he didn't, he could have hit both. And fair enough, like it was, a, it was a, it was a clever little chain to hit the, to hit the other one. But um, you know, he could have hit both, and he hit neither. And he was one up, so he didn't need to like get the ball or anything. He just needed to knock down both scoring threats, and uh, yeah, didn't deal with either one. So a bit of a mistake, but you know, uh, fair enough, right? The game probably lasted like an hour and a half. Nerves and uh, fair play for Dragu, you know, getting it done afterwards. They are very intense matches, to be fair. About as intense as it gets, in fact. So there you go, a 1 1 draw. Fu Fole will probably be kicking himself a little bit. Uh, you know, he had he had the better dice overall, made more removals. I mean, I think Dragu probably, uh, you know, made a mistake kicking. I feel like that, you know, he gave up the momentum, allowed Fu Fole to get on top and stay on top throughout the game. Um, and ultimately, you know, probably should have come away with a win there. He probably will be kicking himself a bit, but he didn't win that game. But congratulations to both. It was actually an exciting Lizard Mirror. Yeah, unbelievably. Um, yeah, so well played both. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.